exciting event is taking place in the depths of space. The mysterious interstellar object, 3i Atlas, which recently hid behind the sun, has reappeared. Astronomers armed with powerful telescopes have a unique opportunity to continue observing this rare visitor. Its path takes it through our cosmic neighborhood, and soon, just a few days before Christmas, it will approach Earth before leaving the solar system. And we're going to have an opportunity to watch it live. Viva the Internet uh, starting on the 19th. Stick with me. I'm going to dive into the recent information and let you know everything that I could find about 3i Atlas. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you once again for joining me. It's awesome that you're here. I want to give a shout out to Deb, who recently bought me 10 cups of coffee. Thank you so very much, Deb. Um, God bless you. You are an angel in disguise. And thank you very much to the rest of you who have recently sent me PayPal donations and bought me cups of coffee. God bless you guys. You are so very thoughtful. You are awesome. The biggest surprise about 3i Atlas was that it successfully survived its close approach to the sun. This contradicted some predictions. New images from the Northern Optical Telescope in the Canary Islands clearly shows an intact core with no signs of destruction. But the recent observation has sparked scientific debate. Photographs clearly show an unusual formation known as an anti-tail. Dusty jets directed not away from the sun, as usually is the case for asteroids, but directly towards it. Astrophysicists from Harvard, Abby Loeb, said in a recent interview with NBC News, he suggested that what we can observe is not a comet, but a technological spacecraft. And according to him, these jets could be exhaust from alien engines that are accelerating the craft for a quick departure from our system. Surprising many of the scientists, the comet remains intact as a single body with no evidence of fragmentation, despite significant mass loss, uh, maybe less than 13% from outgoing gassing. Images from the Nordic Optical Telescope confirm it is accelerating. Its non-gravitational acceleration is stable, but it's slowly accelerating. It displays a lengthening of an ion tail, of 2.3 million kilometers. Can you imagine that? A tail that is 1.34 million miles in length? But its sunward tail, what they're calling the anti-tail, has a length of 500,000 kilometers, which would be at least 310,000 miles long. It also has tightly collimated jets extending up to 1 to 3 million kilometers. These jets, observed on November 9th, defy typical comet rotation, pointing sunward possibly made up of CO2 and HO2. A complex tail structure, anywhere between four to five jets, was noted on November 8th. No clear dust tail away from the sun, unlike typical comets. Elevated nickel, hint at an origin in a metal-rich cosmic gray hardened disk. It's also displaying photometric pulses every 16 hours from outgassing, which is really odd. And now that they signed the budget, NASA is supposed to release images from the HIRIS Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter that it captured somewhere between October 2nd and 3rd, are expected to be released soon. Yeah, we might get those at the same time when we get the Epstein files, right? Supposedly, you can see it uh, late this month in the constellation of Virgo and Leo. Professor Loeb did note that the object is significantly greener than previously thought, which may indicate 
that it is it is artificial in nature. I don't know. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to view it here on YouTube, the live stream uh, scheduled for the 19th of this month, or will it also be censored? If it is censored, yeah, put your comments down below. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I think it's awesome that you joined me again today. And thank you again for your very generous donations. Please stay safe. Always be prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.